Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see the remaining part of the lesson how, when and where. Let's start with the recap of our last session. History is the study of past events and it is certainly about changes that occur over time. We study dates to find out the sequence and significance of events. We select dates depends on the story of the past and focusing on a particular set of events which is important. James Mill divided the Indian history into three periods, Hindu, Muslim and British. And according to Mill, only British rules, culture and laws could make Indian civilized. The term colony represents when the subjugation of one country by another country leads to change in social, culture and economic and political sphere. Administrative Procedure Records Historians use different sources in writing about the last 250 years of Indian history. One important source is the official records of the British administration. The British believed that the act of writing was important. Easy instruction, plan, policy had to be clearly written up. The British also felt that all important documents and letters needed to be carefully preserved so that they set up record rooms attached to all administrative institutions. Specialized institutions like archives and museums were also set up to preserve important documents. Some important sources of information of British rule and atrocities are official records, letters, memos, surveys, newspapers, magazines, autobiographies, reports, experience of travelers, novels and poems. Surveys become important. The practice of surveying also became common under the colonial administration. By the early 19th century, detailed surveys were being carried out to map the entire country. In villages, revenue surveys were conducted. From the end of the 19th century, census operations were held at the interval of every 10 years. It prepared all the detailed records of the number of people in all the provinces of India, noting information on the caste, religions and occupations. Surveys like botanical, zoological, archaeological, anthropological and forest surveys were in the list of British administration. All these are official records. What official records do not tell? Official records will not help us to understand what other people in the country felt and what lay behind their actions. Records like diaries of people, accounts of pilgrims and travelers, autobiographies of important personalities and popular booklets are found other than official records. Leaders and reformers wrote to spread their ideas, poets and novelists wrote to express their feelings. But from these sources, history cannot be explained and how the tribals and peasants and the workers in the mines or the poor on the streets lived their lives. Questions for this session. First one, what do official records do not tell? Why are official records important for British administration? Define census. Name some sources of unofficial records. Picture based question. Refer history book page number 5. Identify the picture where it is located. 